G'day everyone, Ricker from Patch to Plate here, just with another video, this one uh, by request, and it's about mixing hydroponic solution for the aeroponics tower. Here you can see I've got some mixing jugs, some with water in them just for rinsing things off, some syringes, here's my two-part hydro solution, uh, the truncheon for measuring nutrient levels and a pH pen, a couple of other multi-zyme, buttock cell, drip clean, and then some pH up and pH down for adjusting the water right at the end. Okay, so I like to lay everything out on the table like this so that uh, if I get interrupted while I'm going I know where I'm up to. So here's my reservoir just about empty. For those of you that have watched the earlier videos you'll know that I set this up so that I can run it through this pump and just pump the nutrient out on my veggie patch or garden or whatever and that's what I've done. So next thing to do is to give this a good clean up and fill it up with water and thanks to the magic of YouTube that's been done already. So we've got about 75 litres or so, maybe a touch more in this res reservoir and um, a good idea sometimes uh, if, you, you know, if you're new to this or haven't done it before is to uh, take a nutrient reading of your water before you start adding nutrients. Sometimes you can that can register and you want to adjust for that. Uh, I know for my water that's going to be zero. So let's get to it. We're putting the first part, part A of the hydro solution in. This is a 60ml syringe and just because I've done this a lot of times now I know that that's going to be about right for this amount of water. Uh, it'll actually come in a touch high, but I'll explain that later. Um, another thing to do is, uh, if you're using the same syringe for drawing up your part A and part B hydro, make sure you give it a good rinse so you don't want to you know, contaminate or get any of your part A and your part B. Uh, pretty high tech here, this is my, uh, my uh, mixer. So just a, uh, just a plastic ruler I found is the best thing to just run around in the water and mix. Okay, and here's the um, hydro part B. I'm not going to bore you with drawing up every single bit and mixing it all in, but we'll we'll put in the second part of the uh, hydro mix now. Same thing. Um, I always use you know same amounts of part A and part B. I know some people mix it up a little bit, but I just go one to one. Whatever I put of part A, I put in part B. So here's our truncheon, we're going to get our levels and we want this to come out at about 300 which is spot on 300 parts per million. Again that's going to go down to about 250 which is like what I, uh, what I like it to sit at. Uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that later. Here's a little tip for measuring, this is just a disposable shot glass and I've marked the side of it there um, for the amount of multi-zyme and butt XL and things that I, I use just because of their mixing ratio. Uh, I don't have to measure that every single time, I just go to the line. Same thing with the drip clean, you only need a little amount of that and I found these, um, this is just a syringe that came with one of my kids, Nurofen or Panadol, uh, they're pretty good. Now here's our pH up and pH down. Now when you're using these, be careful, you know, they're pretty strong chemicals, so these are the ones you want to, uh, you know, you want to take some care with. I know that um, I'm only going to need the pH up, I know that it's going to be under 6. And here's a pH pen, this is a Blue Lab pH pen. I did use drops for a while, but this is a godsend, this thing. Uh, gives you, you know, readings really quickly. Okay, so we'll take a pH reading, this is the final step, pH reading of our water. I know it's going to be under 6, it's just how much under. If it's down around 5.5, I'll use some chemical to adjust it up. But here, because it's at... Um, sat on 5.7. Uh, I'm happy with that um, and I'll explain why. Again just uh, here's the reservoir for my auto pots. So I'm going to do a, thing, uh, a video on those soon. And you can see now that the table's clean we know that we've finished. Okay so we'll fire the pump up and uh, start moving some nutrient through the tower. Now I've said a couple of times during this video I'll explain why so here it comes. Uh, as this uh, nutrient is pulled up into the tower, my tower also has about a 20 litre reservoir in the bottom of it. So we're going to draw down this reservoir by about 20 litres before we get any nutrient and water running out of the, uh, running out of the drum. 
So what that means is I'm going to top this reservoir up again just with water. So two things are going to happen with that. When I top up with water, I'm going to dilute the nutrient from 300 down to about 250. And because the water out of my taps are pH about 7.2, when, um, when I put that into the, the 5.7 pH water, it's going to pull it up to about 6. So here you can see uh, it's been running for a while now. There's about 20 litres in the bottom of the, of the drum, which acts as a bit of a heat sink and other things, and that's starting to flow through now uh, into, the, uh, into the reservoir. So I'm just about to top this up, and then I'll take another pH reading. And here we go. And this should stop spot on about 6, which it has. So that's great. Look, thanks very much for watching. I've included some uh, links here to both subscribe and also to my other videos on the aeroponics build part A and part B and also to a video on a cloning tower that I did. Uh, really appreciate everyone watching and subscribing and commenting and um, uh, sending me through messages. Fantastic. Keep it up and I'll keep it up. Thanks again. See you next time.